Hi, everybody, and welcome to Vodcast 11B. I'm Mr. Galladay, and this is Honors Biology for Desert Ridge High School. Uh, in this vodcast, we're going to be talking about nucleic acids. Uh, nucleic acids, I'm sure that you are all uh, somewhat familiar. You probably recognize the uh, rotating molecule on the right-hand side of your screen. Uh, and this, of course, is uh, the double helix of DNA. Um, DNA is probably the most well-known of the nucleic acids. Uh, and, of course, the N and the A in DNA, of course, stand for nucleic acids. Um, these uh, were given this name of nucleic acids because when they were first discovered, people didn't really know uh, what these things were. Uh, they knew that they were mildly acidic, they were a very weak acid, and that they're found in the nucleus of the cell. So they called them nucleic acids. Uh, it was much later that... Uh, People realized the significance of this substance, uh, and it wasn't really until 1953 um, that uh, Watson and Crick uh, determined that this was indeed the blueprint uh, for uh, for life. And what uh, one of our goals, I think, this semester is to understand what that term really means. Okay, so uh, to get into uh, a little bit of information, a little bit of um, some, some background. Um, this is a good point to update your table of contents if you haven't already done that. Uh, nucleic acids um, basically contain information. Uh, DNA, of course, contains information, and that information is what is used to make proteins. Uh, in the previous segment, we talked a little bit about proteins and their complexity and how they are uh, very long, 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 thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands of um, individual monomers long, uh, and the information for that is stored in DNA. Um, the monomers for nucleic acids are what we call nucleotides. Um, you are, again, probably already familiar with nucleotides, although you uh, likely didn't learn them as those, uh, you didn't learn that term nucleotide. Um, you're all already familiar with A, T, C, and G. We're going to introduce um, a new nucleotide this year when, as we talk about uh, RNA, which is uracil. So those are our five nucleotides adenine, thymine, cytosine, guanine, and uracil. These actually are um, the bases. Uh, nitrogenous bases that uh, are part of the nucleotides and we'll but we'll get into that in just a little bit. Um, just as it was the sequence of amino acids in a protein uh, that was responsible for the shape of that protein and that is what gives that protein its particular function, it's the sequence of nucleotides that determines the sequence of amino acids in a protein. Um, this sequence is what, we're, as we're going to see, is uh, extremely important that determines uh, both the shape or, or the sequence of amino acids and then that determines the, the shape of that particular protein. Um, and the, the sequence of A's and T's and C's and G's are what determine that. Um, this um, as I'm sure you already are aware, this is the basis for heredity and, and evolution. It's change, very slight changes in these over time that uh, result in changes in our populations. Um, and this, of course, is the, the basis of um, why you look like your parents or why you uh, look slightly different from your parents or a, a, a kind of a melding of the two, most likely. So we've already said uh, the N and the A in DNA stands for uh, nucleic acid. Um, the D stands for deoxyribose, and I'll, in, a, in a picture in just a minute, I'll show you what that, uh, what that means. RNA uh, stands for ribose nucleic acid, and you see that there's a connection between these uh, DNA deoxyribose and RNA ribose. Ribose, as you may be able to guess, it ends in that ose, uh, like glucose, sucrose, fructose. Um, so you may guess, well, that kind of sounds like a sugar, and it is. Um, the, um, 
the structure of a nucleotide, this is cytosine, which is uh, the letter C, uh, looks like this, and there are three parts. Um, the nitrogenous base, and this is where our A's and C's and T's and G uh, and U come from, um, that is this, it, it's a nitrogen containing um, base, it uh, means it's, it's the opposite of an acid. And then the other thing is, is that there is a five carbon sugar. Uh, and this five carbon sugar is uh, deoxyribose. The reason it's called deoxyribose is this carbon right here in ribose has uh, an additional uh, oxygen right here. Well, if you take an oxygen off of something, you deoxygenate it. Okay, so that is why this is called deoxyribose. It's a uh, ribose that is missing an oxygen. The third part of uh, nucleotides is this over here, uh, which is uh, a phosphate. And if you recall, uh, in our original uh, segment when we talked about, uh, um, when we started talking about mac macromolecules, uh, we said that um, nucle nucleic acids contain C, which is carbon, and you see numerous C's around here. So there's, of course, the, carb the five carbons that make up the sugar, plus carbons in our nitrogenous base. Uh, hydrogen and oxygen, which again, you see oxygens in the phosphate. You see oxygens and hydrogens uh, over here, uh, as well as over here. So we have CHON, uh, which is nitrogen, which is in our nitrogenous base, and P, which stands for phosphorus, uh, which is at the center of this phosphate ring over here. Okay, so if you haven't already, uh, copy the, the structure of this and be sure that you note uh, each of these three parts, okay? So there, there is a nitrogenous base uh, over here, which again contains nitrogen. Um, the five carbon sugar, deoxyribose in this case. Uh, for RNA, this would be ribose, uh, and you would see that this C, this carbon here, had an uh, additional oxygen attached to it down here. And then our phosphate uh, over on this side. Okay, so that is the main things that I need for you to know about uh, nucleotides and uh, nucleic acids. Um, the, you should know the structure, um, and you should also know this information uh, about what they're used for and uh, why they are important. Okay, so with that, I'm going to close out this segment. This has been Vodcast 11B. I'm Mr. Galladay for Desert Ridge High School and uh, Honors Biology.